and they pay something. They are in darkness, they're struggling with them. So the whole of mankind is in Fasa. They are moving towards the hellfire. And they are not aware. But there's an exception said, Ida Ladina Aman. Except those who seek for true knowledge. Knowledge that this iman. Knowledge that this righteousness. Ida Aman. Except those who seek for the right knowledge that this iman. Wa aminu soil heart. And they implement, they live by the claim. Wa tawasu bil haq, tawasu bil haq. Invite others to what they have implemented themselves and they remain patient in the course of documenting and inviting others to see what happened to them. Exactly. And that's the formula of success. At the end, search for knowledge, the history of man, and the amal bihi, living by that knowledge, implementing, and da'wati ilayhi, inviting others to what they have implemented. Sabur and patience all the way. From first person to the leader. Those who set the pace. Let me give you the scenario so that you can understand well the difference between the two. Thank you. Take an example of a ship, two ships at Mombasa at the port. And these ships. They are going to set up to say they are going to start their journey in the next maybe one minute or so. One of the ships, number one, has a clear direction. It is destined for Yokohama, Japan. It has a clear roadmap. The captain and the crew, they are all prepared. They have everything prepared for the journey and they know exactly how they are going to make the journey. That is ship number one. Clear map, clear direction, navigation plan, all the resources required for the journey, ready. The second one, ship number two, well, it's not clear where it is going. The road map, the direction is not clear. But anyhow, they have to. So which of these two ships is likely to succeed? Why? So let's speak louder. The first one, because for it has the direction where it is heading. Okay? How about the sisters? What do you think? Ship one and two, which one of them is going to succeed? A little louder, even Ramah. You know, you we'll get access. Ship number one. Number one. Why? Because uh, it's well prepared and it has got everything that can be put in there. It's well okay. Any other perspectives? Anybody else? Which of the two is going to succeed? Which of the two is going to succeed? We all say it's one. Who says ship number one will succeed? And who says number two? Is anyone saying now to number two? Interesting in this one. The majority of them did exactly as it never happened. 95%. Ship number one will start the journey steadily towards the other. It may have some challenges along the way. Maybe the tide is high, the waves, and so on. But eventually, 95, 99% the chances are that you get to the sea. Ship number two will also start the journey. But it will be behind the waves, the winds, whichever direction. And it may find itself crashing somewhere on one of the islands, just like. 95% of the people are driven by the environment, are driven by the groups, by the friends, by, you know, the family, by the neighbors, by the radio and television, by the environment. So their life is dictated by the environment around them. 
they just follow. 95% of the people, they just follow. They just follow. What is around them? They conform to the environment. They conform to what is around them. The 5 percenters are different. They challenge the status quo. They decide what they want. And start moving to the status quo. So, do you want to be among the 95 percenters or the 5 percenters? By a show of hands, who wants to be among the 95 percenters? <laughs> Who wants to be a five percent? Point number two. The only matter of our spaces, I will get a little bit of a thing. Yeah, and you have a Ladina Amanu. Put a barley, Kumusiam, Kama, put a barley, Ladina, and a little bit of a thing. يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون. ويو بيلي. Fasting has been prescribed upon as it was done for those who came before. With a goal, a primary goal, so that you may achieve التقوى. From a scientific perspective, you may call this so that you may achieve change and transformation. Atakwa means elevation. So that you can move from one stage to another. So that you can stop, you know, if you've been a 95 percenter, you can, you know, make a transition from one stage to another. The purpose of Ramadan is for us to achieve transformation. The reason why Allah has given us this special month of Ramadan is for us to undergo a change, a positive change. And here we are, we are saying it's actually possible to move and transit from being a follower to being a person. The 5% we are talking about uh, people who tr who champion change, whatever they are. There are all the individuals in life you may have come across who, whenever they come in a given situation, it could be a company, it could be a school, it could be a faculty, it could be a classroom, they change the environment. They improve the environment. Whatever they touch turns into gold. Whatever they do, they succeed. If they're in class, they will excel. If they're at a workplace, they will excel. If they are in a new job place, location, whatever placement, they'll perform enormously well. If they come to go into a leadership position, they change things very fast. Have you come across people like this? You know of people who, wherever they go, whatever they touch turns into gold? Have you come across people like this? Have you seen them? They come home and they organize the home very fast. Everything is in order, perfect. You know? One person comes in and everything is in order. One person has a classroom and, you know, the direction is, you know, the way you communicate, the way you engage is different. These are special. These are special. These are specially gifted people who decide where they want to go. Exactly just like hit number number one, which is destined to a very critical spot in the karma and subsequent things. So in this world, all of us, as we are, we have dreams, we have goals, we have aspirations. All your elders, your parents, the older people, whoever you see around, at one time when he or she was young like you, they had dreams, they had aspirations. They had very big goals. But at the age of 60 and 70, they look back and say, oh, when I was young, I wanted to be this and this. But I didn't make it. When I was in the university, I wanted to become this. I never made it. They all had dreams. So 95% of people, they fail all the time. 
95 percent they don't achieve what so what what is the reason why and i'd like to hear from you why do you think mankind why we are all here we have the because but eventually when they get to the first age old age they look back and they see actually they want to